who ever written x equals 5 in Python and wondered, where is this value actually stored? How does Python know when to remove it? Today we're going behind the scenes to understand how Python manages memory with simple explanations and real code examples. Let's go. Memory management is how your computer stores, tracks, and frees up variables and objects during the life of a program. In lower level languages like C, you manage memory manually using malloc and free, but Python makes it easier with automatic memory management. So you don't need to worry about allocating and deallocating memory manually. When you run a Python program, Python creates a space called a private heap. This is where all objects and variables live during program execution. The Python memory manager takes care of allocating memory for objects, tracking how long objects are used, deallocating memory when not needed. Every object in Python has a hidden property, reference count. It tells Python how many variables are pointing to that object. Now both A and B refer to the same list. Reference count equals two. If we delete A, the object still exists because B still references it. When all references are gone, Python deletes it automatically. Reference counting is fast, but it has one big problem. Garbage collection. What if two objects refer to each other? Like this. Even if we do del A and del B, the reference count won't hit zero because each still refers to the other. That's where Python's garbage collector, GC, comes in. It finds reference cycles and removes them using a technique called generational garbage collection. You can even call it manually like this. Even with automatic memory management, your code can still run out of memory if you're not careful. Here are smart tips to optimize memory in Python. First, use generators instead of lists used like this. Second, use slots in classes like this. And last, profile memory usage. Python's memory management system is elegant, using reference counting, garbage collection, and smart optimizations to keep your code efficient. Understanding this not only helps you write better code, but also helps you debug and optimize your programs like a pro. So hit like, comment, and subscribe.